school. What do you like to do at home? Why? Well, there's lots of different things I like to do at home. The one thing I really love though is reading books. I have like a big sunroom in my house with lots of big windows and I have a big comfy chair and I have a blanket at my big comfy chair and I keep a big stack of books beside it and I love to sit there with a cup of tea and read my books. And why I love reading? Um, I love reading because I love using my imagination and hearing stories and finding out about different people who had different lives than me. What is your favorite sport? Why? My favorite sport? You know what? I've never really been. When I was a kid, I didn't do lots of sports. And I did, I did dancing as a kid. But now, as a grown-up, I've found that I really like running. So I like to go out on um, nice days. Not so much now when it's all slushy and snowy. But I like to go out and I like to go for runs. And I think the reason I like doing that is I like going fast. But I also like doing something where I'm competing against myself. So there's no winners or losers. You just kind of get to make, make it so you're doing your own best each time. Where were you born? When is your birthday? How old are you? Well, I was born in a city called Victoria, in a province called British Columbia, which is the farthest west you can go in Canada. Um, and I was born on August 20th, 1988, and I'm 27 years old. What is your favorite food? Why? My favorite food. I know what it is. My favorite food is a grilled cheese sandwich, but it's a special grilled cheese sandwich that's filled with stinky cheese. Yeah! Mm, I love a grilled cheese sandwich full of stinky, delicious cheese. The stinkier, the better. Yeah. What was your favorite toy when you were a child? Why did you like it? <coughs> well, when I was a kid, we had a big cardboard box in our basement. And inside of the big cardboard box, my mom would put, like, fancy dresses she had worn, and old shoes and like clothes donated from neighbors and we called it our tickle trunk and we would play dress up using the clothes from the, the cardboard box so that was probably my favorite toy what is your favorite children's book why is it your favorite you know what i actually brought a stack of them today so i have a series that is my favorite series right now and i bet some of you guys have seen these books before um, these are the Elephant and Piggy books by Mo Willems, and I just bought a whole bunch of these for my classroom because I read them, and they are so funny, and they also, they do this amazing thing where even when kids are just learning to read, like in grade one where I teach, lots of kids are still just learning to read, these books still have a really good story, even though they're not too hard to read, so these are, these are my favorite books right now. I think they're just wonderful, and they make me laugh so hard. I had one million dollars. I think I would go traveling. I started teaching when I was really young, so I didn't really have any time to go and explore the world and find out about different countries. So I think if I had a million dollars, the first thing I would do is I would go and I would travel and I would see the world. But I think I would also maybe um, help my mom buy a house and maybe take my brother for a trip. I think it would be nice to do things with my family. What was your favorite thing to learn at school? Why? When I was a kid, my favorite thing to learn at school was science. And it's still my favorite thing to teach. I love science. I think it's so exciting to find out how things work and why they work and to like poke at them and see what they do and figure out why. I think that, that was always my favorite and still a favorite of mine. Why did you become a teacher? Why did I become a teacher? Well, I've always really liked working with kids. But um, the reason I became a teacher is because I have a brother and my brother's name is Ben. And my brother Ben always had the hardest time in school. He had a really hard time kind of getting along and following the rules. And for him, it was really, really frustrating. And so I became a teacher because I saw him feel so frustrated in school. And I thought, you know what? I bet there's a way to make this experience less frustrating for kids who maybe have a harder time with the rules and with getting along. And I thought, maybe that's something that I could do to help out with. What do you like about your job life? My favorite part about my job is getting to get to know you guys really well, and getting to know my students, and getting to laugh with them, and have fun with them, and see how much they learn in a year. It's always so exciting in grade one to get to the end of the year and realize that all of a sudden you have a room full of grade two students who are ready and excited to learn. And last year when I got to teach a grade one, two split to see my grade twos grow so much as well and get so ready to learn. And 
ready, ready, ready to go into that next year, knowing what they know and feeling good about what they know. That's my, that's what I like. Why don't you like? <coughs> what don't you like about my job? Why? What don't I like about my job? I bet you that my answer is the same as other teachers' answers. My, my least favorite part is writing report cards. I love doing interviews, I love talking to parents, but I do not love sitting in front of my computer. One of the best things about being a teacher is that you get to be around kids all day, you get to talk to people, you get to figure things out and solve problems and talk to your colleagues. And when you're writing report cards, you don't get to do any of that. What is your favorite song, why? My favorite song right now, my favorite song, is Sorry by Justin Bieber. And every time it comes on the radio, I can't help myself, I have to dance. And it makes me laugh, and I have the best time, and I like to sing it in my kitchen when I'm cooking. Thank you for being on our show. Join us next time for another interview on the Real and Terrible Interview Show. You guys were awesome interviewers. Thank you so much.